um, quickly show everyone um, towards the end of the demo as well. We do have a new uh, feature, a new product coming soon, which is our in integration uh, from Hands HQ to an e-learning provider. So you actually be able to distribute e-learning courses um, out of the Hands HQ system um, and everything will update automatically once those courses have taken place as well. So I will be showing a, uh, a sneak peek of that um, ahead of it. Um, hopefully that should be sort of um, completed in the next few months and uh, ready to go live. But perfect. Let's let's jump into the into the demo of the system now. Um, hopefully everyone can see my screen moving up and down. If you're if you're struggling to see that, then, then feel free to let us know. As mentioned, um, up at the top, you've got the chat and also your Q&A. Feel free to fire any questions in there um, that you'd like and we can answer um, yeah, any of those questions that you have throughout. I will um, stop at some points as well to answer those live um, or Arena will be answering most of those anyway. Uh, but perfect. So this is Hands HQ, the training register. Just to give you a bit of a background about Hands HQ itself uh, as a business. So predominantly where we sort of started off was a risk assessment and method statement software. Uh, I'm sure there's a few of you on the call today that actually use our RAM software. About two years ago, a lot of our customers were crying out for us to, um, I guess, update the way that um, and, and streamline the way that they are tracking and managing training in the same way that we did with their risk assessments and method statements. So we put into production the uh, training register. Initially, it was a bolt-on product to the RAMs. So it does actually integrate in with um, the RAMs um, system that we currently have. However, we then had a lot of interest from uh, manufacturing businesses or principal contractors, those that don't really need to write too many RAMs documents. Um, as a result, we've updated the system um, and it now is a standalone um, training register product. So you don't have to have RAMs uh, alongside it. So it's a web-based, cloud-based system. So it essentially allows you to sort of log in uh, with your uh, credentials, uh, with your login details as anywhere, as long as you've got uh, internet connection. When you log into the system, the first page that we come to is our uh, sort of personnel dashboard. This is where all of the different personnel across the business will live. Um, so you can jump into um, different uh, individuals' uh, profiles through here, which I'll show you in a moment. Uh, we'll jump into those. Um, but obviously, the first thing I wanted to, to mention is this uh, sort of uh, graph, this donut that we have over on the left-hand side here. Um, obviously, we've got our red, amber, green, probably very self-explanatory, something that you've probably already got within um, your matrix at the moment. Uh, obviously, anything green means that the training is currently up to date. Anything red means that training has expired. However, when a training goes, um, just a training record goes from green to amber, that essentially means that within the next 60 days, that training course is due to expire. So you'll actually receive email notifications at that point as well. So 60 days before, 30 days before, uh, it's either a week or two weeks, and then a day before as well. So you're always going to get that sort of multiple notifications and emails to you to sort of tell you that someone's training's um, out of date. So you're always going to be sort of poked um, and told that it needs to be updated. And um, yeah, so we've got obviously red, amber, green here and all of our different individuals um, here. You are also able to not only just track your, obviously your, your own employees, which we can see here as the company, you can also track your subcontractors as well. So if you do have any subbies, any individuals who work for you for quite a regular basis, and actually you want to track their training too, then you've got the ability to do so. And you can filter between looking at your employees, or if you just wanted to look at your subcontractors, then you can do that too. One um, great feature, which is really handy, is the ability actually to archive those individuals uh, and any individuals at any point. So if you do have subcontractors that work for you for, for a couple of months, six months on a project, they disappear, but you know that they'll be back within the next two, three years, for example, you can keep their details on file. Uh, and then that's just for you to manage. If they do then come back to work for you for another project down the line, you can just restore their details. Um, the benefit of being able to archive an individual is that when their training is due to expire, you're not going to receive those notifications to, to sort of tell you um, that, it's, that it's due to expire at all. I will come back on to um, this in a bit, uh, but for now, I just wanted to jump on to a few of the other tabs that we have up at the top here. So the first tab that we come into is our roles tab. Now, essentially what we're looking to do here 
is effectively create our sort of training needs analysis by adding our roles and also adding our different courses that we are tracking across the business. So we've got our roles category. We can just hit add new role and we can add in a brand new um, role that we um, are, are tracking or that we have within the business. Once you've added that role, you can then um, align all of the different courses, which I'll show you in a minute through the course register. So we can see here that at, uh, to be an electrical engineer at our business, these are the six core competencies that you must have to be compliant in your role. And then also you've got the ability here to um, add in um, all of those, or well, see all of the different personnel across the business that currently carry the role of electrical engineer as well. This is really handy, especially if a client ever comes to you and says, right, um, can you please send a electrical engineer to site? This gives you the ability to actually to see what electrical engineers do we have and whose training is up to date. So essentially it's sort of telling you who you should be sending and, uh, and maybe who you shouldn't as well. When we come on to our uh, next tab, which is our course register, this is essentially where we have all of the different courses um, that we're currently tracking across the business. Once again, we've got our uh, red, amber, green um, here as well. So this is essentially telling us that uh, within our first aid at work, we have at least one personnel, at least one employee whose training is out of date. So we can see here that we've actually got two. So Kevin and Joe, uh, everyone else is green uh, apart from Ellie and Rob. So this is essentially telling us that Ellie's training is due to expire within the next 60 days. So at some point within the next 60 days, that training is due to expire. And obviously we could just click on Ellie's name, jump into that profile and actually book the relevant training as well. Uh, we can see all the different roles that that course aligns to as well as part of that sort of training needs analysis that we mentioned. And then finally on the details. So this is essentially yeah, just the details of the actual course itself. So the renewal frequency. So we know that actually when we align this course to an individual and we add in the, the new dates of when they completed that training within the next three years that well, after three years, 60 days before the three years is up, you're then going to receive a notification to say that training is due to expire. Um, you can also decide whether you want to include evidence or not and whether it's required. So essentially evidence within the system will be in the form of a, um, a certificate, could be a, a card like for CSCS, for example, that you're awarded once you've completed the, the certain courses. Um, so yeah, you are able to add that evidence in here and actually decide whether it's required or not. So it may be for first aid at work, actually it's not too important to have the certificate, we don't need it, but for something more important like asbestos awareness, our, your clients are always gonna wanna see that certificate, therefore you can make it required that they have to upload the, the evidence um, alongside a completed course. Um, you're also able to add in um, some additional information like the method of training, the provider, time and cost estimates as well. Any questions? Um, I don't think we've got any through at the moment that I can see, but feel free to fire some questions up at the top uh, in the chat or the Q&A. Uh, we can answer your questions as we go through. Um, but yeah, it's really straightforward as well. It's worth noting to add a brand new course. We do have a course library in the background that you can pull from. However, you can add your own bespoke courses at any point as well. So um, anything that's very bespoke or sort of yeah, customized to you as a business, um, then you can add those courses. Um, if you really wanted to, um, you, can, you can add your GCSE results if you wanted to. Um, that's how customized you can get with this as well. So if you just jump back to the personnel page, um, I'm gonna jump into a few of these different profiles now to sort of show you how um, the process looks and, 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 how it, and how it works. So we've got uh, this button up here, which is uh, add personnel. This is how we can add an individual into the system. Um, so we can add, let's go with Bill uh, Taylor. And uh, we can add Bill to the system. We can decide whether Bill is an employee or a subcontractor. Um, at this point, we can then also select what role. So if we were to say, right, okay, Bill's joining, Bill's going to be our new health and safety manager. We can also add their details in as well, like email, phone number, and line manager too. So once we've added this information of the employee, then we can add this personnel to the system. Come down here, we can see Bill's name, or we can search for it in the search bar up at the top. And then when we come through, because we've selected Bill, as a health and safety manager, and we've already done our training needs analysis for our health and safety managers. It's essentially saying, right, these are the 
five core competencies that Bill must have to be compliant in this role at our business. Um, obviously, the sort of training needs analysis is going to be different at every business. So we give you the sort of freedom to be able to sort of create that yourself as well. Um, in addition to these sort of standard courses, you do have the ability to add any additional training as well. Um, so uh, what we've got, let's go with, um, let's, right, Bill's, Bill's really muscly. So let's add Bill on for a PT training course, a personal training course, uh, very random. Um, but this just shows what you are able to um, add on. Um, in, in addition, you can just add, yeah, any um, sort of additional training, which is outside of their standard role. Um, but it's like a nice to have. So it could be like they've got a fire warden course, for example, and they are the, uh, the fire warden within the business. Um, so you're able to sort of pull that information and see that as well. Um, if it's not required anymore, um, then of course you can um, delete that course as well. So um, what I want to show you now is, is actually how you would go about to update the course to show that someone has actually either made an action against the course, you've added a book into the system, um, or someone has completed the course and now it's time for you to update with the relevant certificates and new expiry dates. So let's say if a member of the team has um, the first aid at work, which we can see is currently out of date. Um, what we can go ahead and do here is actually add a book in. This just essentially shows us that we have made an action against a, uh, a course which is now out of date. So we can say, right, this has been booked for uh, the end of the month. And you've also got the ability to add in your booking notes as well. Um, so you could say where the location um, is. I actually was speaking to someone the other day who, as part of their booking notes, they like to put their flight numbers in because they work at, on a sort of remote um, island and they have to fly into, um, into Edinburgh to do their courses. So that's where you can sort of add this additional information in here as well, um, which you can do here. What essentially what's going to happen at this point is when you add this book in a day before this training is due to due to take place and due to happen, an email notification is going to be sent to Bill, but also Bill's um, a line manager, let's say Ellie, for example, Ellie would receive a, an email as the line manager, also Bill would as well, just sort of notifying you and reminding you that that training is due to happen um, tomorrow as well. And then uh, finally, to actually update it to show that an, a, uh, the course has actually taken place. What we can do is we can come down to this and hit the record new training. This is then gonna ask us for a start date um, that we can enter in. So let's say the start date of this. So let's say Bill completed this at a previous job, uh, which we can add in here. We can also add any notes and then we can upload our evidence from our device. Really straightforward. Um, it's literally just a case of sort of dragging and dropping or adding it in from uh, from your system as well, which I will do if I've got uh, an example. I think this is the wrong one, but um, just to show you an example, you can add the certificate in here. You can add multiple images for one uh, training record as well. So if you've got like a front and back of a card, for example, or you've got a couple of certificates for one training course, you can add multiple images as well. But we can now see that this is green um, down here. Uh, if I just move back to the uh, personnel, I'm going to go um, on to my account, a bit of a bit of a blue Peter moment, um, I guess one that I made earlier. So it's all all complete, all up to date. We've got images uh, and certificates for a lot of the courses in here. So once again, you can always click onto here and actually pull off those um, certificates. You'll be able to see those. If you ever need to download them, then, um, then obviously you can pull that information off as well. We've also got additional training um, down at the bottom. We've got a couple of notifications. Um, so we can see here that actually the asbestos awareness requires evidence. Uh, so it's saying to us, right, you've got the asbestos awareness, but as part of what, what I mentioned earlier, when you set up the, the course, it's telling us that actually we need to update this with uh, our evidence, so our certificate. Um, it's also saying that we've got some training booked as well, uh, which we've actually missed, but we can just... Um, add, remove the book in and add a new book in as well, if you needed to. Um, one thing that is really handy that a lot of our customers love um, is the ability to download a training report. One of the biggest challenges that, that we tend to hear is actually clients will turn around and, and they'll say, right, you've got, you've got uh, Mason coming down to site today. Can you please prove to us that they have got the correct training and everything's up to date? 
Usually there's a bit of a, a bit of a scramble around the office trying to find those certificates, scan them in or trying to find them on different folders across, uh, across your servers. However, with this, because everything is all within the system, the sort of expiry dates, certificates and so on, all you've got to do is decide what information you want to include um, in the document. So for this, we just want the evidence and we can just download now. What that's going to do is going to compile all of the um, certificates, all of that information for us and create just a PDF um, document based on the training. Uh, this is where the, the training register will actually link in with the um, RAMS side of the system as well. So when you've created a RAMS document, you've created a project and you align a member of the team to be doing that work, you can also pull this report off at that stage as well, rather than having to come in the train into the training register. But yeah, you can see here that we've got yeah, the, the names of the courses, uh, images of the certificates or cards, and then we've got a start date and expiry date um, of our projects as well our training sorry um the last thing to to sort of show you on this page is you do have a full activity tab in the background as well so you you can sort of see a full sort of like audit trail activity log of exactly how that individual's training has changed over time who's updating it when it's been updated and a reason why um it's been updated too so you've got full um, great for sort of like auditing and isos as well so being able to show best practice document management throughout the process too um, have we got any questions, Irina, at all? Um, yes, Mason. So there was a question from Jess, whether you can see the history of uh, previous trainings that you recorded. If you could show that uh, really mm. quickly. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, great question. Uh, yes, you can. So um, you've got the ability to come into here and then hit the show training, and it's going to show you previous um, training records from the previous years uh, and also the evidence for that as well. So that will be stored within the system. Uh, really handy. I appreciate that with Excel spreadsheets, a lot of the time, all you're really doing is just over, over, overwriting last year's training as well. So that's all sort of lost at that point. But yeah, this will all be stored within the system um, and you've got to, you can see the sort of history uh, throughout time for that training course as well. You can also add um, notes alongside this um, as well. Any other questions or is that all for now? Any other questions from anyone, feel free to throw them in. There's a few other bits to, um, to show you um, and also give you an idea on the e-learning um, that we have coming. But any other questions, feel free to sort of throw those in now. Um, yeah, really the last thing to show you here before I do jump on to uh, give you a sort of a, a sneak preview of the e-learning um, that's coming out soon. We do have the ability to download a training matrix. Now, the reason for this is when we first released the system, our customers came back to us and said, you know, this is great. It's going to save us a load of time, um, solves a lot of their challenges, a lot of their problems that they have with their sort of spreadsheets. However, there are still certain times, especially for some form of like accreditations or audits, um, tenders as well, that actually they still need to show a training matrix. So we built that into the system. You can essentially hit this button here, which is download training matrix. And that is going to create for you an Excel spreadsheet with um, all of that information pulled through into the system um, like so. So it's going to create this report for you. Um, you can use this for, you know, whatever you need to, whether it would be, um, yeah, audits, uh, tenders, um, yeah, you've got the ability to. It's, it's worth mentioning though, that obviously any updates that you wanna to make to any of this information, you have to do it via Hands HQ. You can't make the updates on the Excel and push those back into the system. All the updates have to be done through um, through the training register itself. But yeah, that's a, that's a pretty quick run through um, of the training register. Um, any questions, feel free to throw those um, at us now. Um, what I wanted to do is just give you a, a quick look at the e-learning. Um, so this is something that we had requested uh, yeah, quite often from, from a few of our customers is the ability to do this. I appreciate a lot of e-learning packages out there at the moment um, allow you to track training, but only the trainer that they provide and then anything else um, you would then have to do on a probably a separate spreadsheet as well. So you've got multiple places where you're tracking training. However, what we want to do is, is we have got an integration with an e-learning provider, which is iHasco. Um, so they've got some hundreds of, of great high quality um, training courses as well. So essentially what will happen is we'll be able to plug into their training courses as and when a training record is due to expire. You can then actually um, submit and distribute 
that training course out to a member of the team, which I'll show you now. So um, look very familiar what we've been looking at for the last sort of 20 minutes. This is Rebecca Cole's account. You can see that uh, top line here, asbestos awareness is currently up to date. However, um, this is now turning orange, which means within the next 60 days, this is due to expire. What you then have the, um, the ability to do is hit the um, enroll online button, which isn't available at the moment, um, but which will be with the integration. So we can hit enroll online. Essentially what that's gonna do is it's gonna say, right, we can enroll Rebecca. It's gonna cost us one credit um, out of our 572 credits that we have to actually enroll Rebecca on this course. So we can enroll, which we can see that we've done here. What's now gonna happen is Rebecca's gonna receive an email, which is gonna say, um, your asbestos awareness is due to expire. Could you please um, complete um, the course, which we can just hit the button here, which is take course. Once we've done that, um, then it will take us through to this page. We can take the course, run through the e-learning as you usually would, you know, watching a few videos, um, answering a few questions, doing a bit of a read up and then coming through actually onto a test itself. So you run through that test. Once you've completed the test, um, you know, it's been passed, Rebecca's passed the course, then it's actually going to pull us through to this page. Usually at this point, you'd have to download the certificate and then forward it onto your uh, health and safety team or HR manager, training manager, whoever it is that updates the uh, matrix to say, right, it's been done. And now it would be a manual process of updating at your end. However, with this integration, what will now happen is everything will be automatically updated within the app. So we can now see the asbestos awareness course is back up to date with a new expiry date and also a certificate within the system as well. And this is the new um, updated certificate, which has been pulled through into the system as well. So yeah, everything will sort of update itself um, and hopefully make that process of, of distributing uh, training and those training courses, those e-learning courses, uh, a lot easier um, to sort of be able to manage as well. If that is something that you wanted to sort of learn more about, we're just in the process of putting together the pricing for that. Uh, we're probably a couple of months away before it can be, uh, she's going through the development stages at the moment. So a couple of months before it can be released. Obviously the training register is all ready. Um, so that's a bit of a plug and play. You can get, um, get working on that um, as soon as this afternoon if you wanted to. Um, but, uh, but in terms of the e-learning, you're yeah, a couple of months away. But if you are interested, feel free to jump onto our website um, and actually sign up, uh, join the waiting list, and we'll be given, um, I think, sort of once it's ready, going through this list of those individuals who have signed up for it and given sort of early access. Uh, we'll be able to give you an idea on pricing and the different courses available within the next coming weeks as well. Any final questions uh, from anyone at all? Um, we're pretty much uh, at the end of, uh, end of, the, uh, end of the demo now. But uh, any questions, feel free to let me know. We will um, give everyone a call just to answer any questions that you have, um, hopefully sort of uh, this afternoon um, or tomorrow. Uh, but yeah, if anyone would like a call immediately, um, then feel free to just whack a, whack a message in the chat, maybe just saying yes, please. And um, we can give you a call um, sooner rather than later and answer any of your questions and give everyone an idea on pricing um, as well. Pricing is going to be dependent on the amount of personnel that you track. Um, so everyone's going to be slightly different. So um, yeah, we can reach out to all of you and, uh, and give everyone an idea. But yeah, feel free to let us know if, if you'd like a call um, immediately um, straight after the webinar. But otherwise, that is pretty much it. Unless anyone's got any other questions, um, I'll let everyone get on with their busy day. We have fi actually finished a, a minute early. So uh, pretty much bang on. But yeah, we'll, we'll wait out a couple of minutes. Any questions, feel free to fire those in. Otherwise, thanks very much, everyone, for joining today. Um, it's been great. Uh, question from Jess, will the recording? Yes, uh, leave that with us and we'll get a recording um, sent out. You should receive an email hopefully today with the recording so you can share that around with the rest of the team as well. Uh, but if you would like a sort of more one-to-one -one demo with the wider team, then just let us know and uh, we're happy to get one of those booked in as well. Cool, well, I think that's... That's it from um, Irina and I, but thanks very much for joining everyone and uh, speak to you soon. And, um, and yeah, any questions, feel free to get in touch. Thanks everyone.